is there any takeaways or uh, i'll say pointers from you that would be useful for cmos to basically evaluate the community initiatives for their demand generation activities yeah so i think like any other uh, approaches that you take within market you have to first understand when people come to me and they say derek i you did community stuff really well and you were really successful we want to build a community the first question that I, I start with is why? What do you actually want to achieve from this? First, is it a product community where you're only talking about your products and your company and it's only your customers that are part of it because that serves a certain purpose? Or is it a community of practice where maybe you're a marketing tools vendor and you want to attract anyone in marketing to participate in a community of practice where you don't talk about your tools, but you help marketers become better marketers. What is the actual purpose of the community that, that you have? And also when you look at, just as you do with your product and you try to figure out product market fit, what does the market need that it's not getting that we can serve with this product? Communities are the same thing. What is the community doing? What do they need that they're not getting from the current community that, that they're participating in? And how might you fill that? So if you think of part of what I talk about in the book is just that kind of the community market fit idea is that in, for example, if we were a marketing tools vendor uh, and we were thinking about community, the marketing community already exists, whether our company exists or not, whether our products exist or not. And if our company suddenly disappeared, the marketing community of practice would still exist, right? You have to look at like, are we trying to create a new community, a subset of the existing marketing community, or are we filling a gap that doesn't exist? Uh, or, or a gap that needs to be filled within that, that community. You have to think about what is the purpose of this community and what does it serve and what will someone get out of it? What I guide people on is you kind of have to start with that purpose and value and promise. If I go back to the example of all day DevOps that I talk about in the book, um, we talked about education, no vendor pitches, free, online, and globally accessible, right? Every year that I ran the, that conference and community, uh, for five years, that never changed. We never veered from it. There were never any product pitches. We never charged for, for anything. It was always free access. It was always global in nature. Those promises and brand promises that we offered to the community as a value of the thing that we were providing didn't change. And that helped us build relationships and connections in the community. Those relationships, the more we fostered them, built content and information exchanges. And those three things are in balance all the time. The more people in the community, the more content and information is built and exchanged and the more value people get out of it. But if I brought in 50,000 people to this community and I said, hey, thanks all, everyone for coming. You built everything. You're, these information exchanges are great. But by the way, I need to sell you a product now. Everyone would leave. That brand promise at the beginning, if that changes, it impacts the number of relationships and the number of relationships, if it declines, also declines the amount of content and information exchanges that happen. And so you, <clears throat> you have to think about community in the way of like, before you start really, what is the purpose? And then honestly ask yourself, why would someone like me participate or someone in your market participate in that community? Are they really going to get value out of it? And if it's just, hey, I want to build a community to talk about me and our company and our products, 
not a lot of people are going to join and participate in that. But if it was a marketing community and you said, Derek, come and join this and learn how to be a better marketer, absolutely I would come and participate in something like that. There is a community that a company called Sixth Sense uh, put, uh, has put together. They This started maybe three years ago called CMO Coffee Talk. Every Friday morning at eight in the morning, uh, Eastern time, I join about 70 other chief marketing officers in this CMO Coffee Talk community. We have a big Zoom channel. We talk about various marketing related topics. There's no vendor pitches. It's free to participate. I don't have to be a customer of Sixth Sense to participate in that, that community. Mm -hmm. um, and they've never pitched product to me in that kind of community interaction, but they're helping me become a better marketer. Now, because of that, am I more likely to consider Sixth Sense and their products when I'm looking to buy the kinds of things that they do? Absolutely. I will give them an opportunity to pitch and you know sell my company on those products, but they started with being a helpful member of the community first. And for years, every, like I've attended hundreds of these meetings, um, they've provided value and been helpful and filled a gap that I was looking for. And because of that, there's higher brand trust with them uh, as a result.